What's up YouTube? It's Curly Lisa Victoria. I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for tuning in. And if you've already been subscribed, then I want to say thank you for coming back. So in this video, I decided that I'm going to be making another video on my after game sneakers um, from Louis Vuitton. And if I haven't said it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. New to the channel, thanks. Already t returning, um, thank you for coming back as well. So in this specific video, we are actually going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton after game sneaker that I have. I made a video before. I bought these sneakers around my birthday. Well, actually about a, maybe like almost two weeks before my birthday, but for my birthday in February. So at the beginning of February, I bought these sneakers and I had not worn these sneakers for about two months, like at all. When I first got them, two months went by and I had not even worn them. I knew I wanted them, I just had not found, found the time to actually wear them. So, I have worn them and I wanted to come back and update you guys on a video. And I also wanted to make this video because I have a person on my channel who reached out um, via the comment section actually on the last video. Um, not my last video, but the video that I did on the After Game sneakers before. So. She had questions about the sneakers and I thought why not actually make a video where I'm going to cover the sneaker again, talking about it if you missed it and also tell you some things that you might want to know if you were interested in them and yeah, let's get right into this. I don't want to hold you guys up and I want to get to the point. So basically the after game Louis sneaker looks like so. I fell in love because they remind me of Roshi's. Um, this is basically what the shoe says. It says right here Louis Vuitton. You can't see it because it's in white, but and you can see there But it says it on the back and then this is what the front looks like. It's double lace They give you a couple extra sneaker sneaker laces as well If you want it to take out, I guess a set of laces you can do that, but I like to wear them with the double laces So that's what that looks like I'll see if I I doubt that I'm going to like them a solo lace, so I keep them double laced because that's how they came and it actually is fine with me. So these are the sneakers that we are talking about. I wanted to do all up close and personal so you guys could see. The After Game sneakers are on um, the website, but also if you have a Louis Vuitton store, you can actually go in the store and purchase them, which is what I recommend. That's what I did and that's what I like to do when I'm not familiar with an actual bag or um, a sneaker or shoe, anything. I like to go in store to see if I still feel the same way and also just to see how that thing suits me. Does the purse look good with me? Does the shoe look good with me? If it doesn't, then it's, you know, I don't take it. But if I buy it and I don't like it, I'd rather not have to go return it. I want the in-person experience of, you know, seeing what's up. So these are the sneakers, like I said, I've worn them. I got them in a size seven. I normally wear like, it depends on the shoe. So like my Adidas, um, like the Superstar. I got, uh, I wear sometimes like a four or a five and in like Jordan or anything like that type of sneaker for guys normally like a five so in women sneakers I wear a seven women are gonna be women so you're gonna want to know because I was asked the question are they true to size for me I like my sneakers to fit just right my foot has not grown in a long time and it is not growing I like a fitted shoe more than I like a shoe that has room these are a seven these suit me well when I went I asked for a seven and I said if they have them it's meant to be if it's not it's not so I came before and I seen them and I left just because I wasn't really a fan of the experience at that moment I came back for them because I wanted them for my birthday so I'm like do you have a seven and she's like I think we've sold out of like that shoe but let me see we might have one shoe left in the back let me see what size she comes back out and lo and behold it's a seven so you already knew it was meant for me sis. so of course I bought them um that sneaker is just like it goes with a lot it's black they are comfortable and I definitely would recommend them. So I would say go with your size. I'm trying to think of the other question she asked me. Uh, it might have just been do they fit true to size and I gave her like a full detailed explanation. So then, you know, here's the original box, the shoe box. 
just so you guys could see. These are like my legit shoe box. If that makes any sense. So pretty much the after game sneaker, pretty much. Hopefully I can get a profile, I mean a thumbnail out of this. We'll see, but anyway, those are what I got purchased. Um, so what I would say, as it pertains to these sneakers, shoes in general, if you can go into a store, I understand that everybody has a, like have designer stores at their local malls like we do, because we do have like Gucci, Louis, Burberry, um, Neiman's, we have all of those like in one of our malls, like literally MCM, um, all of the designer. So basically everybody doesn't have that in the area in which they live or if it is a mall that has it, it's normally very far from them. Purses, pay attention to measurements. You wanna make sure that you pay attention to measurements. If anything and you're like, well, what is that measurement? Go pull out a measuring tape and figure out what you know measurement that is before you buy something because so many people think they're getting a good deal and they'll purchase something and be like oh my goodness I thought this purse was this big and really it's this big you have to focus on measurements if you're gonna be ordering online when you are purchasing a shoe try to go for one look into reviews see if people are talking about them to kind of get a you know just a educated guess as to what you think you'll be wearing in that specific designer Two, um, if you have the opportunity, go in, try the shoe on before you order it online. Go in, but definitely try to look up reviews to that shoe because that might lead you to your answer. If somebody says, oh, I typically wear a six, but in this shoe I needed a seven, that tells you that the shoe probably runs small. Or I usually wear a seven, but this time I got a six, then that will tell you that the shoe run big. So definitely pay attention to every detail that you can pay attention to before going into a store. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to think if there's anything else about that sneaker I need to tell you. Um, pretty true to size. Oh, if you have a wide foot, shoe might not be the fit for you. Or maybe you'll need to go get your shoe stretched. It is more of a narrow fit, um, conforming to your foot. And that's fine for me because I don't have wide feet. Um, so yeah, works out for me easy comfortable shoe that you know is going to take me somewhere the soles are definitely of quality so you definitely know that you can just you can walk this earth in them for a long time so i hope you guys enjoyed this video didn't mean for it to go as long as it went but make sure you guys like comment share subscribe and i'll see you beautiful people in the next video it's only